Welcome back to another video. Today we are covering the four essential SEO tools that every web designer should be using to drive new traffic to your client's websites. Now it's no secret that understanding SEO and having the ability to drive organic traffic to the websites that you build is going to bring way more value to your clients and in turn it's going to allow you to charge way more money for your services. So these four tools that I'm going to be covering today are going to be really easy for you to learn. Most all of them are free to use and it's going to allow you to get huge results in the form of organic traffic without you having to go clear back to step one and learn SEO from the ground up. So without further ado, let's dive into it. Now the first tool that you're going to need to be using is something called Moz Local. Now Moz Local has a ton of different paid tools and they are an authority in the SEO space, but in particular, the local SEO space. And so if you've got clients that are small to medium sized businesses that are working out of a physical location and are trying to reach local people within their area to drive traffic or new customers to their business, Moz Local is going to be a really powerful asset for you. And my favorite tool that Moz offers is actually a free tool, which is their local citation scan. Now, if you don't know what local citations are, these are your online business listings. And this is a really powerful way to push your presence across a ton of different listing websites. So a lot of people know um, that the more common listing websites like Google My Business, yellowpages.com, Yelp and Facebook, all of these are places where you can list your business and get in front of people that are using these listing sites. But what a lot of people don't know is there are literally hundreds of these listing sites. And if you can push your business information across all of these listing sites, you're going to be able to command a lot more traffic. And you're also going to be able to get a lot more eyes on your website because each one of these listings is going to act as a powerful backlink to your website because Google wants to know that these are well-established websites and well-established brands that show up across the web. And so if we can acquire more of these listings, it's going to help your Google ranking immensely. Now, Moz Local allows you to take your business details that you find in your Google Maps listing and you can plug them into this scan and it's actually going to show you what percentage of local listings you've completed, what percentage you might be missing, and it's also going to show you inaccuracies in those listings and how they show up. So for example, if your website URL is incorrect or different, or maybe you have an old phone number that's listed on one of these listing sites, Moz Local is going to allow you to find those, locate those, and fix those so that you can show more consistency across the web. So if you want to start running scans on Moz Local, click the link down below. Again, it's a free tool and you can start running those scans and seeing how your business shows up. Now, my next favorite tool is a Chrome extension called Keywords Everywhere. Now, the Keywords Everywhere plugin automatically shows you the keywords that people are searching for, which gives you a huge advantage when determining which keywords you need to take and implement in your title tags, your H1s, and within the content of your website. My favorite part about this plugin is it's actually going to pull up these keyword results right next to your searches. So as you can see in this example, anytime that I search anything on Google or even YouTube, Keywords Everywhere is going to pull up right next to it and show me here are some additional keywords that people are searching for. These are the most popular ones. And that's going to help you know which ones are probably going to be the best to implement into your website. So if you want to start using this Chrome plugin, click the link down below. You're going to be able to install this immediately. It's a free tool and you can get started with your keyword research. Now, the third tool that we're going to talk about is one that we absolutely cannot live without when it comes to the success of a new website. And that is Google Search Console. Google Search Console is basically the key that Google has given us to track and understand the way that our site is going to perform on any given Google search. All you need to do to use Google Search Console is verify your domain and then you're gonna be able to track traffic, rankings, page clicks, site errors and penalties, warnings and red flags, and you're even going to be able to submit a sitemap which gives you the ability to notify Google when you either have a new website that just was published or when you've got new pages of content on your site that you want Google to recognize. So if you want to use Google Search Console, just click the link down below. Again, this is a free tool. All you need to do is verify your website and you're good to go. And finally, the fourth and most important tool when it comes to ranking your new website is a tool called SEMrush. SEMrush is like having a full-time SEO expert for your business at just $100 a month. Now, while this might seem like a lot of money to pay 
for a tool, it's gonna be well worth it. And by the time you sign up just one new SEO client, it's gonna pay for itself 10 times over. And in my case, I'm still using the $100 a month plan and this tool alone is making me an extra 10 to $20,000 per month with all these tools that literally do all of the heavy lifting for me and help me work through all of my SEO campaigns and get great results for my clients. Within this tool, you have the ability to run site health audits, which is something that I do with every single one of my client websites. You're able to track your competitors and see what they're doing to get ranked on Google and other search engines. You can search keyword volume and difficulty to see which keywords you should be using on your site. And you can even run a general audit to see site traffic over the past two years for literally any website. Now this is by far the most powerful SEO tool because it gives you everything under one roof. Um, it's very comparable to the software Ahrefs, which is again, another big player within the SEO world. Uh, but I found that SEMrush is typically a little bit cheaper each and every month and it has given me more than enough tools to do everything that I need to be able to stay on top of my clients SEO campaigns to get them great results and also offer great reporting that keeps them happy and keeps them coming back for more. I also love to use SEMrush when it comes to selling prospects on SEO services because all these different tools are gonna give me the ability to run all of the audits that I need, show them their past performance, and then show them the traffic that they are missing out on right now, which is a great way to kind of show them where they currently are now and where we could get to if they hire me to run their SEO campaign. So if you wanna add SEO services to your arsenal, SEMrush is the place to start. So if you wanna know how to get started using the tools within SEMrush, all you need to do is click the link below to start your free trial. Um, just so you know, this is an affiliate link. You don't have to use it, but you're going to be able to get a free trial with SEMrush and dive right in to see how the tools work. So once you've started your free trial and you've logged in, the first tool that I want you to become familiar with is the domain overview tool. Now, this is a really, really powerful way for you to get a beat on either a current client's project or also you can run this same scan on a prospective client's website to get a beat on where their traffic is, if they're seeing any increases or decreases. And so what this is gonna show you is your traffic trend right here, which gives you a really good idea of maybe the potential traffic that they're missing out on, or maybe they're doing really well and you just wanna report on the progress. You're also going to be able to see how much the traffic that they're generating is worth under this organic search traffic box. This is gonna show you what that traffic would cost if they were to run ads to acquire this much traffic. The other thing that I love is you're gonna be able to see their authority score, which gives you a really good idea of how many backlinks they have, how much link juice and domain authority is being pushed to their website. These are all great ways just to get a beat on how well their site is doing and where you can go from here. The next tool that you're gonna to need to become familiar with on SEMrush is the Keyword Magic Tool. Now, if you click on the Keyword Magic Tool tab on the left side, this is gonna open up this tool and this is gonna give you literally everything that you need to find new keywords for the pages in your website. And so the example that I've got here is I've typed in Law Firm Salt Lake City for a client that I just recently acquired. And this is going to show us all of the recommended keywords that are being searched. It's gonna show us the volume, it's gonna show us the keyword difficulty, the cost per click if they were to run ads with these keywords. And it's also gonna show you the competition. And so this is a great way to dive in and find keywords that are high enough volume, but also low competition and low difficulty. And if you can find those middle of the road keywords to implement on their website, this is a great way to start getting traffic without competing for really difficult keywords. Now you can use this tool for just about any type of keyword and if there is enough volume or if these searches exist or are being searched on Google, it's gonna show you results which will give you a really good idea of where you need to head when it comes to the page titles, H1s and H2s, and the content of your websites. Now the last SEMrush tool that I wanna cover is down here under your projects tab. Now this is gonna give you the ability to add a project for a specific client, all you need to do is plug in their URL and their company name. And what this is gonna do is open up a dashboard which gives you all of the different audits that you're going to need to run to be able to wage a great SEO campaign. Now the one that I'm using most often is in the top left, it's your site audit. Now what you're gonna be able to do is click on this and you're gonna run an audit. Um, typically it takes just a 100 page audit to go through the entire website 
But what this is gonna do is show you the overall health of your website. Now again, this is something that I'm doing every time I complete a client website because inevitably there's gonna be a, a lot of errors when it comes to content or duplicate title tags or duplicate meta tags or maybe there are different red flags that Google might be throwing for my website. And what I'm gonna do is click on these errors and walk through all of these different changes, make these updates, and this is going to improve the overall health of my website, which in turn is going to improve the overall ranking. I love using this tool to show progress to my clients and show them how far we've come. For example, if I've just launched their website and the site health is at a 72%, if I can get that up over a 95%, that's a very visual way to show them the progress that I've made. Now, I highly recommend getting in and running site health audits on all of your client projects. And you can also dive into all of these different checks. The position tracking is a great way for you to plug in competitors and keywords to get a beat on where you stack up against your competition. You're also going to be able to run an audit on your backlinks or your link building right here in the middle. And this is going to give you the ability to find all of the different websites that are linking back to your own website, which again is a great way just to get a beat on where you're at and what needs to be done to start building more links, getting more keywords implemented into your website, um, improving the overall site health. All of these different things are going to bring great results for your clients. And again, this is going to do all of the heavy lifting for you so you can focus on building these websites running these quick audits and using all of these tools to get results for your clients. So I'd be really curious to find out what is the biggest thing that's holding you back from learning SEO using these tools and offering SEO as a monthly service for your business. I'd be really curious to find out what's the biggest roadblock. So please comment down below. I'd be happy to respond. This will also give me a really good beat on what other types of SEO videos I can create to help you guys get to the point where you can confidently add SEO to your agency, to your web design business, and start generating more traffic for your customers and more revenue for yourself. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.